the U.S. House of Representatives is voting on amendment today which would authorize President Obama's plan to arm and train Syrian rebels to fight Islamic State militants. Well, despite Obama's repeated public assurances that there will not be any U.S. ground involvement, General Martin Dempsey said that the nation's group's ground troops may directly join Iraqi forces. Now, speaking to a Senate panel on Tuesday, the nation's top military officer said this may be needed to battle IS militants if, if Obama's current strategy fails. He revealed Iraq that the U.S. commanders specific. have already sought permission to deploy small teams of U.S. advisors into battle with Iraqi troops. Dempsey also suggested that while Obama has held firm, he might be persuaded to change his mind. But after Dempsey finished his testimony, the White House reiterated that the president will not send ground forces into combat. In Obama's plan, U.S. will equip and train Syrian anti-government forces with a budget of 500 million U.S. dollars. If the amendment is passed by the House, it will be sent to the Senate for approval this week.